Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines and we're down at Legacy Boats, the makers of the Bonito Hulls and I'm here with Roger Barnes and Roger's going to take us through just what makes a Bonito Hull so special. I've been building boats for 12 years and been building the Bonitos for the last 18 months. The hull itself is, is very forgiving, it's got a very sharp entry, it's very dry, soft riding and um, very stable at rest which is why the commercial operators swear by them and use them in Moreton Bay. That is most, most of our, a lot of our new customers have, have had their days in tinnies and they've seen the boats pass them on Moreton Bay and they've said we want to get one of those. Most of our customers know exactly what they want, they're experienced fishermen and they've got their own ideas and their deck layouts. So yes, we try to customise as, as much as we can without it becoming too expensive. No, there's no timber, we use Kusa which is a composite pro product, we use that for our transoms. We have an option of using it in the floors, um, we use double bias in our hull layups, we use all fibreglass stringer grid and our, our layups are basically to serve a standard which is needed for the commercial operators. Probably 50% of our sales are tillersteer, big 5.6 tillersteers. Um, there is a demand for them. There aren't too many people that make a, a large 5.6, uh, over 5 metre tillersteer and um, they're definitely very popular. Well, personally I don't like to build boats that um, are capable of sinking or relying on um, bilge pumps to stay afloat. I prefer a boat that can be tied up to a mothership or, or anchored at night and left in a storm and you come back in the morning and it's still sitting there waiting for you to go. Or if you're crossing a bar or offshore and a foamy wave comes over the top of you, you want to be able to know that you're going to get home. Approximately six weeks. It, it, it's, it takes time because there, there is a lot of custom building. A, a standard tiller steer, we could probably push to four weeks from build to finish. Yes, we've invested a lot of money in uh, retooling and making sports fishing decks, which have got the moulded, high, high quality mouldings, um, non-skid material uh, patterns on them, recesses for cleats, anything that we feel is standard on the boat that is not needed to be customised, we're trying to produce the highest possible quality for the fishermen and our customers out there. The boat's very stable at rest through big reverse chimes. Uh, it's, it's a very busy hull, it's got lots of planing strikes which gives it lots of stability at speed. It's got a very sharp entry which enables it to uh, cross very choppy open waters which it was designed to do in New Zealand in 1973 and um, the hull has changed, the design of the hull has not changed because it's been so successful. It's dry, soft ride, it's probably be its, its greatest asset. Um, you'd be looking at around $30,000. You'll, you'll have change from $30,000. Um, just something of interest is, I have sold six boats to customers that have never ridden in a Bonito. And I don't think too many boat builders have that, get that opportunity to sell boats to people that, that have never actually ridden in one. They've just, on reputation, they've bought them. <laughs>